Well, dramatic video taken overnight shows the raging fire in Harford County that sent one firefighter to the hospital. That two alarm fire broke out on Wineberry Way in Aberdeen before 11 p.m. Eight townhomes and all were involved, and some 18 people were forced from their homes. Hello, everybody. I'm Kelsey Kushner. Thanks for joining us at 6:30 right here on CBS News Baltimore. The cause of that fire tonight remains under investigation, and right now WJZ is live on your corner near the site of that fire. Jessica Albert joins us, and Jessica, you've been hearing from neighbors and seeing that damage for yourself. Yeah, I have, Kelsey. We are on Witch Hazel Way here in Aberdeen, and I'm going to step out of the way so that you can see just how bad this damage is. I've never seen anything like it. You can see that there is just complete destruction here. There's eight houses total. The four in the middle are the ones that you are seeing that are very, very badly burned. Several cars on the ground are also destroyed as well. People in the neighborhood told me that they're just so thankful looking at this damage that no one was hurt badly in this. Um, this all happened around 1030 last night. Firefighters say it started in the back of one of these townhomes. I'm hearing from neighbors that there was some sort of an explosion and neighbors tell me that they believe that explosion was from a car here on the ground but they do not have that confirmed. That's just what they believe happened. It took 70 firefighters about two hours to get all of the flames under control. Three of the homes collapsed while firefighters were trying to fight the fire, and all eight, row, or all eight homes that you see here on this row have been condemned because of this damage. Like you said, Kelsey, 18 people were displaced. None of the residents were hurt, but a firefighter was injured while firing, uh, fighting the fire and is expected to be okay. Firefighters say there is about $5 million worth of damage to these homes, but neighbors say the most important thing is that nobody was seriously, seriously injured here. I talked to a woman who told me that she was at home with her kids. She lives on the other side across the street from what you're seeing now. She was at home with her kids and she heard this loud bang or boom. She said that she actually thought it was a gunshot, so she didn't actually think it was a fire at first until she called 911 and the dispatchers told her that it was actually a fire. So she said that she grabbed her kids, they put shoes on, and they got out of the house. Um, but the homes, you can't see it from where you're seeing now. The heat from this fire is so bad, it actually damaged the siding of the homes uh, to the to, uh, just a, across the street here. The lady that I talked to, her name was Rachel, she said that firefighters told her that if this fire had gone 15 minutes longer, the homes across the street would have caught fire here too. So it's actually just absolutely incredible that nobody was seriously hurt from this fire. We know that the neighbors are working together to try to help the people, the 18 people people who are affected by this. They've started already taking donations and they have a fundraiser set up. We're going to stay out here. We're going to talk to more neighbors and we're going to bring you more coverage coming up all new tonight on WJZ News at 11. Reporting live in Aberdeen, Jessica Albert for WJZ.